everyone. Week five of quarantine, or is it eight? I've lost track. Listen, we're learning to adapt. I'm seeing it at work, in Zoom meetings, in our shopping habits, even our entertainment choices. We're pivoting, we're adapting to technology and adjusting to our new normal. So why should dating be any different? For my friends who are single and dating, this has been a discouraging time to say the least. So today, I wanna to talk about how we can embrace quarantine 2020 as an opportunity since we can embrace each other. So first, let's talk about the benefits and then I'm gonna give you three easy tips for navigating your way through dating online. I get that the idea of dating while housebound may seem pointless to you, but think about it. You're not wasting your time and money going out on dates that don't go well. You're probably suddenly aware of just how mindless your scrolling and swiping has been. Now is your time to really get to know someone on an intellectual level. Just like with those dark restaurants people used to go to, this could be a fun opportunity, a way of removing the sense of touch so that the others become more finely tuned and you can really tune into your date. Plus, you don't have to wear pants on your first date and it won't get weird. Have I convinced you to try a virtual date yet? Well, then let's talk about three easy ways to make sure it goes well. Tip number one, drop the usual small talk. Take this as an opportunity to ask questions you wouldn't normally ask. Get creative. You can even prepare a question or two, something that will really reveal your date's personality. And here's a bonus. You can have notes and your date won't have to know. Use this weird situation we're in to inspire you. Maybe something like, what have you learned about yourself during this time that surprises you? Or what is the first thing you're going to do when it's safe to go out? Tip number two, take this opportunity to sharpen your listening skills. Mental listening means understanding what your date is trying to say, even if they don't say it clearly. Ask probing questions, paraphrase what they've said to make sure that you get it and that they know you got it. Meeting virtually actually removes some of the other physical distractions so that you can be more easily in the moment, which is key to truly listening. Tip number three, have fun. I find we're forced to be more creative when our resources are limited. So challenge yourself to see how creative you can be. If you know some of your date's interests, you could create a theme. Beach night, maybe make it formal or candlelit just for fun. If that's a little too extra, you could just hit play on the same Netflix movie at the same time or play a virtual icebreaker game. So to recap, ditch the small talk, really listen, and take the opportunity to get creative. All this, and you don't even have to break out the wallet or the pants, I don't judge, just make sure you rock that virtual date.